friends. Today we are going to talk about diversity and the context in which we are going to uh, discuss this issue is the contemporary concept of diversity, the way that it's used uh, by the mainstream media and uh, politicians, etc. And the, the general idea is that uh, the workforce, the community is better if it is diverse, if there are people of many different religions and colors and genders and races and religions, if there's a lot of diversity between individuals, the workplace or the community will be better. That's the narrative. And I am here to say that it's okay if a community or a workplace is diverse, but it's not something that should be the goal. It's not something we should work toward. Uh, maybe it's a tiny percentage. Uh, if all the other important factors have been met, then if you have a choice one way or the other, maybe then add some diversity. But it certainly isn't a goal that we should all have. And why is this? Well, it's basic economics. It's basic human interactions. The reason that we all choose to be around each other and do things in this world. And so I'll take an example of somebody who's moving and they're gonna have some friends help them move next Saturday. And they either have the option of saying, hey, all my friends, who would like to come and help me move? Or they could just ask their biggest and strongest friends to help them move the heavy furniture and such. Or they could strive for diversity. They could say, I would like to have one really strong person. I would like to have one weak person. Hopefully that person is missing a limb or two. And I would like to have a person of this color or that color and a person of this gender or that gender. Well, between these options of selecting your volunteer crew for moving next Saturday, isn't it kind of silly not to put the truly important factors first? Like I would say for moving stuff, you would want somebody that's really strong, someone that pays attention to detail, that's careful, that's coordinated, so they're not going to bump everything against the door jams. But you really don't care if that person is a man or a woman, if they are Jewish or Muslim if they are black or white or a zur or whatever, you don't really care. If you have a little tiny, strong uh, Asian female uh, that's transitioning to zur, and, and that person's really good at lifting heavy stuff and is careful, great, but it doesn't matter. You're a bit of a racist or a bit of a, a a nasty person. If you are going to select one person for an opportunity or a job or praise or to give gifts to based on the color of their skin, based on their sexual orientation or their gender, color, race, religion, all that kind of stuff, kind of makes you a little bit of a jerk, wouldn't it? If you picked a person based on that rather than their abilities, rather than their capabilities, now, the argument goes that if we were all uh, only selected the people that we were around, that we chose to be around uh, in the workplace, at, at home, etc., if we chose those people only based on merit, then it's possible that there could be places, and to use the generalization, maybe all the doctors would be Indians of a certain uh, caste. Uh, and this is from India, not the uh, United States governments, uh, the natives that they displaced. But maybe that would happen. Maybe all of the math people would be, would they say the Chinese or Japanese or somebody are, are better? Okay, maybe they would all end up filling those roles. Maybe all the people who bought overalls would be white redheads who grew up in Tennessee like me. But that's not a problem. It's okay that there would be, oh, okay, look at that. We have a bunch of big, fat, white redheads that are buying overalls. That doesn't mean that the overall company is, is racist or is refusing to have a diverse customer base. No, it's just the people that tend to like that tend to be big, fat, white guys with red hair. Maybe that's how it works out. This is not a problem. And so when people try to convince you that they want diversity in a certain circumstance, really think about it. Is it worth it? Now, if, if going back to this moving example, if I have a bunch of friends because I have a really great personality 
and we're just imagining this, and I have a bunch of friends, and I ask all of my strong, careful, all the criteria that really matters, and now I have 10 people that are volunteering to help, and I only need four. Then I guess it wouldn't be that horrible to say, eh, because of this color of your skin, Bill, I don't want you to come and help me. I'm going to preclude you from being my helper friend this day because of the color of your skin. And you, Pat, eh, because of your gender, I don't want you to be involved. And you, Tom, because of your religion, I don't want you to be involved. Maybe that would be okay, but does that seem okay to you?